So CDC has always been involved in emergency responses. It's been a big part of what we've done from the very founding. And in fact, we're at in our 70th anniversary is this year. That work um, predominantly was to support state and local health departments in their, in their um, outbreak investigations. And um, so that work went on year in and year out. In, uh, in 2001, with the uh, World Trade Center attacks and the anthrax attack, and particularly in the anthrax attack, the ability to uh, respond at scale and at speed was challenged. Th our office was formed after the anthrax event to, to really to be able to operate very quickly in very complex situations and uh, really bring speed and scale to those emergency responses to control outbreaks as quickly as possible. So the Emergency Operations Center lets us bring, in, in fact, part of this history of the Operations Center was bringing different parts of CDC together so that we could operate uh, at s quickly at speed and also in lots of different areas and s at scale. Uh, something that was challenging during the, uh, the anthrax event of 2001 and something that when a big emergency um, occurs, there's a decision process about whether we should activate the emergency operations center and the, the kinds of things that go into that are uh, how many cases do we think there'll be, how many jurisdictions within the U.S. or outside the U.S. are involved, how many centers have expertise that need to be brought to bear, and what are the communication needs uh, that the event will, uh, will create so that we can have a single, a single message and also have all the information together in one place.